Hello everyone, this is Theme Park Central and I have finished the next land for TP Shizu. This is the South America land. I, I'm i not doing any speed builds or anything like that for each habitat. If you want me to do that, I will, but please make sure to leave a comment down below. So we start at the entrance where I made this sign using the letters they give you in game. And then I use some bamboo to kind of give it a little bit of a wall to separate it from the American area. So let's go over the bridge. And we have some lanterns here for the night and a nice view down that creek. So then we can come down right over here in the first habitat. We come into is the tapir habitat. These are lesser known animals. But they are pretty cool still, and I gave them plenty of room to run around. They have this nice little bamboo hut I made them. That's what one of them look like. All the animals in this game look fantastic. These ones did not come from the South American pack, but I still needed to get that pack. Because um, most of the South American animals come from that pack. So, yeah, here's a uh, little pond I gave them, and they've got all kinds of tropical stuff. And so that's the tapir habitat. Then there's just a little staff area where we have some of these water transformer type stuff. And a staff room. Looks like it's empty now. Everybody's walking. And let's move on to the next habitat where we have the anteater. I gave them this, I gave a nice um, viewing area for the staff using the tropical pieces they give you for the South American pack. I used the new uh, Zoopedia frame that's very nice. And I used this uh, stone border to close off the habitat. So the guests can just bring their food here or just enjoy looking at the anteaters which are very cool animals these guys look amazing these do come with the south american pack oh this guy are they fighting this guy looks badly injured jeez so there are some anteaters and here is a one of the termite mounds for them they have this forage box and then some water to swim in. Yeah, they have more enrichment stuff. And this little hut for their um, shelter area. So then let's keep moving to towards this side of the land. There's just a staff area over here. They can hit the uh, vet surgery and they can have a nice view. So a few staff areas here solar panel and then you can go over here and this is going to be the train station i will add more plants over here eventually but the train station is going to be the finished the train it's not going to be finished until the entire park the zoo is finished so yeah i did all kinds of art here and some torches for the night and then i used some of these uh, railings to make the queue so that is the train station area but now let's head to the galapagos tortoise habitat so i gave them a nice sandy beachy vibe and they've got this hut over here we have a lot of these guys now so cute and a lot of babies i think so yeah these guys are really small there they are and then they've got some enrichment items. So that's the fairly simplistic Galapagos tortoise habitat. And then we come to the center of the land where there's just this plaza with some trees and you can enjoy your food here. And then we'll keep going this way. That's the path to the next land. But here it's the jaguar habitat. And you might be wondering, but well, can't the jaguars just jump up through here? In real life, they probably could, but it says they can't, so I'm just leaving it like this so it can be a nice camera angle without the glass. So yeah, I used more of the stone border. That's really the vibe I wanted for the 
um, Jaguar area. And then some glass I used to bit. I like to mix the bamboo and the stone. I think that's how South American can be done really well. So yeah, it is a bit of a sunken habitat because I, I just like sunken habitats, better view of the animals. I'm not going to do a sunken habitat for every single habitat, but I will use it for a lot. Looks like that water needs to be cleaned. Get to it, janitors. Um, so then we have this, another opening, and then more of that, and then this is a quarantine. I need to make a larger one to, to quarantine my animals. This is another trade center, and then this is a little vet, um, not a vet area, a keeper area, and they have a view out into the habitat there. And then this is the whole staff area that had a path right out here. And we are now in the jaguar habitat, so we might get eaten. So watch out, everyone. Here is the shelter, a nice little cave with some bedding in it. I give them this pinata thing. And then they have this little pipe, and they can go across the pond. I think this is a baby. So cute. And then, yeah, they've got plenty of climbing room because they do like to climb. They can climb up these Cerakopia trees. And then here is the um, the rapids area. Um, I don't know why the water's not on at the moment. I do have it on pod, so stuff doesn't happen while I'm looking at all this. But they can climb over the water with that. So that's pretty much the jaguar habitat let's keep moving this way into the mountains now where we go to the llama habitat originally this habitat was only this big but i did get i got protesters and i had to expand it um so yeah it looks like africa now i did not do that intentionally um, but yeah, it's kind of funny. The next land, it's actually Africa, and that's going to be a massive land, so I don't know if I want to split that up into separate uh, videos. So yeah, I've got these signs, and yeah, they've got this nice mountain valley habitat. I like how this came out. It's a multi-tiered habitat. And then they've got a little bit of a shelter area. So let's move on. Going through the mountains, there's a ravine here. You can have a nice view into other habitats. And then, yeah, push down the mountains. And then over here, it's the path to the riverboat. I'm not going to hop on the riverboat because camera angles are not the best for it. So I'm just gonna kinda go through. So I gave it a nice little temple here. As you can tell, this is probably more of the temple area. And there's more of the bamboo over there. I wanted to kind of divide based on elevation. So here's the the riverboat ride. Not too much to see. This isn't supposed to be to see animals. I'm going to use rides like that in the Africa area. So stay tuned to that. I think that will be a really cool area. So yeah, here is the riverboat. Some people in it. And it just goes all around the land. Not too much to see there. But let's go into the exhibits area where we have all of our exhibits. I did use some wall out here for detail. And it's going to be hard to find these guys. I believe there is a centipede in here, but these guys are really hard to see. We got the green iguana in here. These guys are easier to see because they are one of the bigger guys. I do not see an iguana in there. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for stuff. Yellow anaconda should be in here somewhere. Yep, there he is in the back. And then these poison frogs. And then this is a tree frog from the South American pack, but he's really hard to find. An iguana right there. And here's our boa constrictor. 
Okay, so that is it for the exhibits. These guys can be really hard to find, but they are pretty cool animals, and I like the concept of exhibits. So then we walk over here, almost back to the entrance. Then we have this Spanish Spanish Mountain Restaurant, Grand Restaurante de las Montañas, and it's a temple restaurant. You can get your Mexilante or pip shot and sit down, a view of the mountains, and the gravel boat passing by. You can't see animals from this habitat. I am going to use, do a animal restaurant soon in the Africa land. So that's pretty much it. We just have one more area. So there's this um, rainforest where they can just get some drinks and some food. And then we have the Colombian monkey habitat. Plenty of climbing space for these guys. This is my first climbing habitat though, so it might not be my best, but I'll get better as it goes on. This is basically the bedroom. They've got some all even. Here's one. I've got like 15 or 20 of these guys. Oh, these guys are so cute. Yep, so they've got lots of different areas to go. They've got some a moat surrounding their um, fortress of the climbing area. So that's pretty much it for this land. So with that, please make sure to subscribe, like, and check out my other channels. This is Theme Park Central, out.